What's up guys, Supercliff here, and thanks for tuning in on today's brand new episode. Alright, so today we're going to be covering Young Justice, written by Brian Michael Bendis, art done by Patrick Gleason, which I think is a great combo if you're going to write a Young Justice ongoing series. And this issue marks the debut of Wonder Comics, which is a new DC imprint led by Brian Michael Bendis. And essentially, it's going to focus on a lot of the teenage-based superheroes, like Bendis' Young Justice, Dial Age for Hero, a new series written by Bendis called Naomi, Wonder Twins. And yeah, this imprint print Delphi is going to be like a little bit more lighthearted than what's currently going on <coughs> here is for crisis uh yeah so um uh, Tom King man what are you doing but yeah I'm excited and let's jump right in shall we so the story begins with a random stranger walking through the deserts of Gemworld as he confronts Lord Opal who is the leader supreme of all of Gemworld and he claims to say that Earth is responsible for the downfall of Gemworld because of all its crises now that's a big uh that's quite the reveal <laughs> if you've been reading DC comics for a while you know that Flashpoint erased the crises and it's here where this mysterious person says that there's been seven so yeah, Bendis will just kind of use things to kind of forward his plot. Now this may be of something potential or maybe just Bendis flexing his street cred because he needs general to be part of the plot somehow. Um, but yeah, this random stranger is trying to convince Lord Opal to attack Earth, basically wipe out all humans because that solves every problem. <laughs> Man, we suck. Now we change the setting and we see Metropolis Hey, I spy a Superman cameo. And it's here we are introduced to a new character who is Jenny Hex, the great great granddaughter of Jonah Hex, a Western anti hero from DC's old days. And it's here she gets pulled over by a Metropolis cop because she almost ran off a motorcycle rider from the road. And right off the bat, we like her already because she just comes off extremely overly positive. And I know that if I was pulled over by a cop, I'd be feeling shame and stupidity because when the cop looks at me, he's just filled with disappointment. Like, dude, go home. What are you doing? And soon afterwards, the cop notices some weird objects popping on the back of Ginny's truck. And then he asks her to remove the tarp. And Ginny starts to say that, Hey, so what if I told you that what I have back there are objects that I have no idea what or what they do? And that's why I'm here to ask Superman for his expertise. And the cop's like, uh, hell no. So right before he's about to arrest her in the sky, the gem world forces attack Metropolis. Now, do you know how before Ginny was pulled over, she almost ran off a motorcycle rider? So yeah, it's revealed here to be Tim Drake, AKA Robin. And he's here visiting Metropolis and he comes across Cassandra Sandsmark, AKA Wonder Girl. And he starts to chit to the chat and then all of a sudden Tim sees the gem world warriors attacking as they start to begin pouring out of the portal so Tim suits up but Cassandra decides to stay back because she seems somewhat unsure of herself but anyways we see Ginny Hex and Robin fighting all the gem warriors but as they slowly begin to become surrounded we see another character zoom into the scene and that is Bart Allen's impulse and he's just super excited to be there and eventually Cassandra's like screw it and she becomes Wonder Girl and she joins in the fray as well and so she starts kicking butt and taking names and then one of the gem warriors punches Wonder Girl and so she starts flying only to be caught by a new character Teen Lantern and I have to be honest I'm digging the name especially for a teenage Green Lantern pretty catchy so I hope she becomes cool later on because that name alone is just really cool to me and with all that said Young Justice is back Following soon afterwards, the Gem Warriors are like, alright, we're screwed because Young Justice is back, and so they retreat back through their portal, and so the team decides to follow them, but something goes wrong, and the team gets split up, where Robin ends up in Gem World and is confronted by an angry Amnest, who is a princess of Gem World. Impulse ends up in a different place, and here he comes across Superboy, Connor Kent, who's been missing for quite some time now, and that's how the comic ends, and I have to say, this story got me excited. I had fun reading it. Now, this issue did remind me a lot of Bendis' old New Avengers, where like all the heroes just kind of show up very conveniently. Overall, though, I'm excited, and I can't wait for issue two to come out and i would give this issue an eight out of ten definitely pick it up if you're interested and that wraps up today's video if you guys like my content please hit that subscribe button as well as the hit the bell symbol so that the world of comics is never missed out peace guys